Hello and welcome back to another inflatable review. Today we have the 6.5 feet tall Christmas cocoa cup, or what I call holiday wishes cocoa cup, because as you can see on the um, cup, it says holiday wishes cocoa cup. So, yeah, here's the box. Another interesting thing about the box is it's one that has like two hinges. So I guess that's kind of nice. Just something I pulled out, but um. Uh, I think that about does it for the box. Nice box. Like the green holiday living. I think I said that, but... You like the green holiday living? Yep. Yes, sir. Alright. So let's just toss this off the side. So we've got one more thing to go over. We've got the steak pack. So four metal, four plastic, four tatters. I believe that this is. Yep. Yeah. Alright. So we're going to toss that out of the way, and we'll get to inflation. We'll get a good shot of this getting inflated. Oh, you know what? I didn't check the fan at all. I can probably guess it based on how long it was. I did not check the fan. Oh, well. Uh, I would guess that this has like a 60. That's my guess. It's, it's inflated. It might have an 80. But how it's inflating kind of slow and the lights are banging around. That's great. They're going to burn out when this be probably. It's probably a Y at 60. Guys, is that what you think? So anyways, we'll hop this up. Is it zipper light open? Or does it actually have a 60? I mean, correct. Unheard of. Ah, the zipper is open. But that might not much. But I'll go ahead and zip it up uh, real quickly. Here's a zipper. And uh, I don't see any other zipper. Here's the tenor unit while we're back here. This is the back of the inflatable. As you can see, um, not fully printed around, but this is here. You can't be two sides of two. Uh, your header is right here. So you're kind of towards the front. I can't help but notice the lights are off. Towards the front, so that's interesting. Oh. I can't help but notice like the lights are really close to the front. So that would be a toy keeping them from burning out. Don't hang it around. Um, Alright. But overall, I don't think this is supposed to have six lights. I think it only has five. Um, let's go ahead and hit the lights so we can furthermore confirm. Alright, so now that we have the lights off, it looks fairly nice in the sort of darkerness. Mm. Is it just me or is the uh, print kind of hard to read? It's also not picking up on camera really well. Interesting. You see that? But uh, it does say Holiday Wishes Cocoa Cup like on the box. No wrong, yeah. It's fairly nice. I also can't help but notice because the lights are so close to the front there and on the penguin that the snowman in the back kind of appears to be a little bit more dull because the light's a little bit farther back and instead of being right at the front. But overall, it illuminates somewhat nicely. Um, I'm not the only one that wishes the snowman had a second light down in like the belly area because it does mm, feel like it needs a light there. I also can't help but notice there's a button that you can actually see on the snowman. It's underneath the hand, so it might be a little bit more harder to tell. Also, I'm confused here on the tether orientation. There's what there's the one here, but then the one on the side is like behind the actual thing. So is it supposed to be displayed head on like this? So the tether it perfectly will have to be like this. But then the actual thing's off to the left. And that's not how you should display it. On my, the sidewalk right here, going this way. Because you want to see this at all. Just a weird note. I guess it doesn't really take anything away. It's just awkward. But yeah, overall, fairly nice. You have anything to say? Nice. Nice. 
All right. We'll go over detailing on each of the characters. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, as you can see, Mr. Penguin has a scar tan that's all over the place on him. But uh, he's also got a blue hat, which looks sort of nice. Yeah, I think that's like Stitch. It is. Okay. This isn't Stitch, which is slightly annoying, but I guess not the end of the world. But the gingerbread man, oh, that's like, why does his eye seem like pink? I don't know. His eyebrows are white. He's got two different, like, icings. Interesting. He's also got a blue scarf, pretty similar to the hat color. He's also got a red nose. Snowman's got a blue scarf in the back and uh, a top hat, so, yeah. Overall, looks very nice. I do like the uh, snowman face here. I think that's a neat snowman face. The gingerbread man's all right, and the penguin, well, you know, just the normal penguin, so that's all right. So let's see how well this inflates while we're at it. A little bit puffy, that's why I think it has a 60. This also doesn't inflate very well. This is very nice, it's very squishy. This red man also doesn't inflate the best, but big stomach in the back, he inflates all right. It's not the best inflating, wish it had an 80. If they had an 80, it would be really tight and sort of nice. I'm gonna just move the spots out of the way. No, I don't want to be able to do that. But overall, again, very nice. Let's get to raining this, because I think we've won over all there is. This is surprisingly kind of tall for what I was expecting. I can't help but just not noticing that it's like up to here. And I thought, I thought these ceilings are like eight feet tall. So this must be like more, this might be more like closer six and to and half seven. Feet. Is that six and a half feet? That's what it says. It looks m closer to seven feet. But it's six and a half. But it might be seven. Yeah. They screwed that up on the top. So who knows? It might be six and a half. It just seems like kind of big. Bigger than I remember in stores, too. So, interesting. Interesting. But like I said, we were going to rank it before I uh, had that interesting plot. So overall, we'll go with design to start it off. Design, um, it's kind of detailed. I kind of like it. It reminds me of the Cup of Joe from 2019. Funny enough, I think it's over here and it needs fixed. I'm not sure. No, it doesn't. Do we fix it? Do we fix it? I don't know. But it reminds me of that. So there's that. So we'll give it the 8 out of 10. I think it'll look good next to Cup of Joe. Rob's confused. Or, no, it's Cup of Snow, that's fine. Uh, what do you design? What do you think, design 8? 9, 10? 7. 7? But my number doesn't matter, it's only yes. your number. No, your number matters, it gives people different opinions. Which will be cool for people in the future, so. Lighting, um, I wish I had one more light be in the belly of the snowman, because I kind of can't help but notice there's like a void in the lighting there. But, oh, we'll give it the, um, uh, 8, because I think it illuminates nicely, and the lights really do shine throughout the thing. Like, sure, this light on it stays a little bit. Yeah, these lights are not hung where you're supposed to be. These lights are, like, right at the very front of Yeah, this. I want, that's what I was saying. They are, like, they super should be. Close. They should be, like, in the middle. So I'm wondering if that's just stitching on ours or if that's just how it is. We might want to fix that one. Huh? Move it. Oh, uh, we'll give it a seven because they're kind of stitched in weird, but it illuminates nicely. What do you think? For lighting? Mm -hmm. mm, I guess a f five. Five? <laughs> yeah, because th they're C7 light bulbs and, the, and with them being right next to the front, a little bit of wind, they're gonna pop. They're all gonna pop. They're just going bait against and pop. Yeah. Do you think the LEDs will be that bad? Are these LED? No. This is from Lowe's in 2022. Every inflatable will have LEDs. I think 2023 and on. This is a 2022. So only Home Depot. Surprisingly enough, Home Depot 
before 2023. Actually, it did have LEDs, but these are just regular right seatbelts. So there's that. So Rob's a 7 and a 5. I'm a 8 and a 7. So uh, next we have the attention grabber factor. Honestly, 6. It's fine on its own, but with letters, it's not standing out. I think it'll be a 7 because people will see that candy cane cup handle on the side and then they'll think they can just come by and drink a nice delicious cup of Cocoa Kisses. Oh my god, it doesn't say Cocoa Kisses on the box. What did you, you think it said? I thought it said Cocoa Cup. Oh. Because yeah. that's what I called it. No, that's pretty much Cocoa. Well, I, I think my name's better, but I think say I think that perfect. they I think the yeah, box I like that. That's kinda of funny. I think the box art should be just a picture of the inflatable instead of the drawing of the inflatable. Because if you look at this, the way it looks with the light and the way it looks I think with the writing it really does not look quite like the way the box makes it look. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest, I'm pretty sure that's a rendering. The, like co the cocoa after. cup, it is. It's not a. It's not an picture. actual photo. It's a rendering. And that, the, the cup is, is the shape, but oh, the I cup itself realized. doesn't look like, doesn't come off looking like that. Why don't we flip the lights on again and see how it looks without right. the light? Because right here it's dark and, and the lights kind of make it look funky. So with lights on in the garage or just like if it was in the sun. Or day. So you can read the you can read the holiday you, wishes you can kisses read that the day. a little better. No, I'm a downgrade. It's designed to a seven because I kind of forgot about that. Plus, you can actually see the base fan. Oh yeah. Which is you know not the best, but it's also not the worst case that I've seen. But you can obviously see that. So you said what'd you say for design a seven? Yeah. I said a seven now. Lighting. You said five. I mm -hmm. said seven. Yeah. So I'm fourteen. Count your own. You're 12. I guess. What did we say for attention grabber? I said 6, and you said 7. Sure. So what are you at? You're at 19, and I'm at 18? Mm -hmm. I guess. I'm not doing math. Oh, my God. We're just going to go with 18. Wait, hold on. What did I say yours was? I don't know. Seven, Continue with your thing. 5, and then 7. That's why I don't need to give numbers. It just makes it confusing. Nine. Yours is 19 out of 40. Um, but mine don't Last matter. but not least, we have um, uh, value. So full retail, 89 bucks. What do you think? It might be 79. Oh, well. 89 bucks, full retail. What do you think? Value. I think you should get a coupon. I do, too. 89 is too much for this. Honestly, it's a 6. No, maybe a 5. I'll go with 5. Maybe a six, because some people driving right. by might so, think you get that it's actually three inflatables for the price of one, because you got a gingerbread man, a, a snowman, and a penguin. So if you're looking at buying just one inflatable, this actually helps you out, because you takes care of getting a snowman, a gingerbread, and a penguin, and all you need is a Santa on the side and a Nutcracker on the other, and you pretty much got Christmas covered. You know, this is why I like having Rob on the show now. He brings up a really good point with that. This does have, like, a lot. And it's a solid design with a base fan. So it's going to last probably better than a cheap fan. Mm-hmm. An excellent choice if you have. If you're just getting two okay. or three inflatables for your whole yard, I think this would be next, really nice next to, like, a about a 10-foot Santa. Yeah. Because yeah. Santa is always king of Christmas. Plus, I think Walmart keeps doing, like, these... 10 footers are already 12 foot. I think they're 10 foot for like 59 bucks last year, so then they might be 65 bucks this year. Maybe, that's a really good deal. Maybe you get a maybe if you can find a collage inflatable that's got uh, Santa, a reindeer. That's what I was gonna say. The maybe a have... Nutcracker as well. Then you you could get like two or three inflatables and have all the main Christmas characters covered. Um, so that's the nice thing. And, and gingerbread are pretty rare, and so are penguins. So having both of them on this one, there's some added benefit to that. Penguins aren't totally rare. I think gingerbread men are a bit more rare. Of course, there's always like a couple free footers each year, but this is like a base fan design with the gingerbread. And I think that's pretty rare. Uh, so overall, uh, value um, for 50 bucks, it's like a six, maybe a seven. Because you do get a lot for it. 30 bucks will give it an 8. Because, you know, it's nice. It's just not mind-boggling insane, I guess. Let's say, like, the Ferris wheel or a Colossal. 
So overall, not bad. Um, I'm going to break my own system, and I'm just going to give it a 25 out of 40. I'm not counting. What do you give it out of 40? 25. Oh, we tied. <laughs> Look at that, and we're skipping out math. But that basically does it. Do you want one more shot with the lights off, or should we keep them on? Sure, kill the lights. Why not? They're, they're making it extra hot in here. All right. We'll orient our camera the other way just to make everybody get confused, but at least it fits a little better. And oh my say? god, now people gotta turn the thing sideways. And what do you say? Anyways, but with that all being said, from me and Robo, we'd both like to say bye for now.